Hey, sports fans. It was a good week for Philly sports. Three Philly teams won. One tied and only one loss. Let's start with the Philadelphia Stars winning their second game of the USFL season. Michigan's Michael Carriosa's attempt bounced off the left upright and right left, allowing the Philadelphia Stars to survive with a 26-25 victory over Michigan. Quarterback Case Cookus led the Stars on a 14-play, 55-yard scoring drive to start the game, capped by a Matt Mangle 21-yard field goal that gave Philadelphia a 3-0 lead. On Philadelphia's second possession, Cookus delivered a 39-yard strike to Devin Gray over the safety for the score, pushing Philadelphia's advantage to 10 to nothing. Michigan's Reggie Corbin returned a kick 45 yards. That big play set up a 22-yard field goal by Cariosa, cutting Philadelphia's lead to 10 to 3. However, Cariosa missed the extra point wide left, leaving the Panthers down 10 to 9 with 5:27 left in the first half. It didn't take long for Michigan to make Philadelphia pay, with Corbin shaking loose on his own run for a USFL record 88-yard score, giving the Panthers a 17-10 lead after Stevie Scott got the two-point conversion on an inside one. The Stars even the score at 17 when Cook is found DeAndre Overton for a 41-yard touchdown down the middle of the field. Mangle's field goal was set up by a punt that Joe Walker fumbled, and Philadelphia's Bradley Slive recovered at Michigan's 13-yard line with 7.29 to play in regulation. The Stars had just taken a one-point lead on a field goal of their own, a 21-yarder by Matt Mangle. Final score, Stars 26, Panthers 25. Good luck to the Philadelphia Stars in their next game against the Birmingham Stallions on Sunday. On Saturday night in Los Angeles, the Union allowed two goals and despite leading twice, had to settle for a 2-2 draw against Los Angeles Football Club. Daniel Gazdag's ninth minute goal stunned Western Conference leading Los Angeles FC early and the Union was up 1-0. LAFC trailed until Kawadu Opaku got free in the box and sent home a 56-minute goal. Julian Kawanza gave his team the lead again, with Gazdag assisting in the 67th minute. Franco Escobar's 82nd-minute goal tied the game as the Union were attempting to close out the contest. LAFC rallied from 1-0 and 2-1 deficits with a pair of second-half goals. Andre Blake, the Union goalkeeper, had four saves off a Vela corner kick. Blake saved the first shot, but couldn't stop Escobar's right-footed rebound. Final score, Philadelphia Union 2, Los Angeles Football Club 2. Good luck to the Philadelphia Union in their next match against New York Red Bulls on Saturday. Sixers' James Harden scored 31 points. Joel Embiid had 24 points and 11 rebounds. And the Philadelphia 76ers beat the Miami Heat 116-108 on Sunday night in Game 4 to even the Eastern Conference semifinal series. After a scoreless first quarter, Harden scored 13 in the second. He missed his first four shots of the game until he buried a three and then got rolling. He scored a bucket in transition during a 15-2-1. Embiid worked out the Game 3 cobwebs and returned to the dominant form that earned him Season 1 MVP chance from the Philly Diehards. His first quarter was about as good as it gets for the center. He made 5 of 6 shots, including a 3-pointer, and scored 15 points to put the Sixers ahead. Harden drilled a step-back 3 for a 114-103 lead that sent the crowd into a frenzy. Final score, Sixers 116, Heat 108. Good luck to the Philadelphia 76ers in Game 6 of the Eastern Conference Semifinals. In National League Lacrosse, San Diego's Dane Dobie's second goal of the game at 6.58 of the fourth quarter turned out to be the game winner as the San Diego Seals held off the Philadelphia Wings 
9 to 8 Saturday night in an NLL quarterfinal game at Pachanka Arena in San Diego. Doby had two goals and two assists in the game, while Austin Stats led the way with two goals and three assists. San Diego's Patrick Shumay scored his first two career NLL goals as the Seals advanced to the West Conference Final against Colorado. For the Philadelphia Wings, they ended up with a 9-9 record. Matt Rambo scored three goals while Kevin Crowley dished out five assists and Zach Higgins made 40 saves. Final score, San Diego Seals 9, Philadelphia Wings 8. We will have to wait until December for the Philadelphia Wings to return to the arena. Bryce Harper homered again off Max Scherzer, and the Philadelphia Phillies became the first team to beat the new Mets ace, snapping a four-game skid by topping New York 3-2 Sunday. Harper added an RBI single in the third and a 2 to nothing Phillies lead. Bryson starts RBI single in the fourth, but the Phillies in front, three to nothing. The Mets got a pair of runs back in the sixth and threatened in the seventh. After a lever, Sir Anthony Dominguez walked Pete Alonso and Eduardo Escobar to start the frame. But Dominguez recovered to strike out Dominic Smith, Starling Marte, and Luis Guillaume in order to keep Philadelphia in front. Final score, Phillies three, Mets 2. The Phillies went on to lose the second game of the series 6-1. Good luck to the Philadelphia Phillies in their next game against the Seattle Mariners on Wednesday. When was Joel Embiid's first orbital fracture? The answer, it was in a win over the Knicks on March 28, 2018. That is a wrap. You can check me out on my podcast at Stefan Sports Radio or through the podcast app or this YouTube channel. And you can listen to me on Saturday nights at 6 o'clock on 1360 WNJC in Cherry Hill. Thank you for watching and see you next time on Let's Talk Sports.